Hey everyone, uh, so in this video I will be showing you how you can control uh, DC motor wirelessly using uh, XB radios. Uh, so first off, uh, for those who are seeing my videos for the first time, I recommend you to watch uh, the first tutorial I made on uh, XB radios in my channel. Uh, and there I discuss in details all the required configurations. So uh, have a look at it, I posted a link to it in the description. Okay, so uh, let's go over the things we're going to need. So uh, we have uh, two breadboards, two Arduino Uno R3 uh, microcontroller boards, uh, two XB Series 1 um, uh, shield. So this is from SparkFun. I'll uh, post a link on where you can buy it. And uh, we have two XB Series 1 radio. And uh, we have <clears throat> one transistor. I'm using a, one, a TIP-122 here for this one. Uh, one diode, one uh, push button, and we have, so this one I mentioned in my, uh, in my first uh, XB uh, tutorial video. So this is the XB dongle we're going to need to configure the XB radios using the XCTU software, the one uh, provided by Digi. So uh, for more details on how to configure it, go back to my uh, older video. And uh, we have uh, two 1K resistors. Uh, some jumper wires, uh, three 9-volt batteries, and uh, connectors uh, for the batteries. So here basically uh, we have two units uh, where one acts as a transmitter and the second one acts as a receiver. In the transmitter unit, I have a push button where I use it to turn the motor on and off, as uh, you can see here. And uh, so in the receiver side, I'm using a 12-volt uh, DC motor. Uh, since the motor is rated uh, at 12 volts DC, I can't directly wire it to the Arduino, uh, considering that the maximum voltage rating for the output pins on the Arduino is 5 volts. Uh, hence, uh, I use the transistor, uh, TIP-122, uh, to act as an interface uh, between the Arduino and the motor. So this is a wiring diagram uh, for the transmitter unit. So uh, basically here, uh, this is going to be the common ground, so basically this is where everything is connected together, uh, like from the uh, from the push button, the 9-volt battery, the Arduino, so uh, make sure you get this right. Uh, this is going to be my 5 volts, uh, this is going to be supplied by the Arduino 5-volt uh, output pin. And uh, for the battery, uh, the negative terminal goes to ground, the common ground, and the positive terminal goes to the VIN pin. Uh, which is to, pro to provide power for the Arduino. And uh, we have for the push button, I'm using a 1K resistor, and uh, this terminal directly uh, is connected to pin 7. Now, in addition to the wiring diagram, I, uh, I also posted the schematic to, to elaborate more on the wiring. Uh, so here, uh, these are the connections uh, to the XB shield. Uh, this is the push button. Uh, this is the common ground and uh, this is the battery. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. So now let's discuss uh, the wiring on the receiver side. Now you'll notice here, unlike uh, what we saw in the transmitter unit, that we have uh, two 9 volt batteries. And uh, in order not to get confused with the two, just make sure uh, you know that this battery is responsible for providing power to the Arduino and the XP shield. And uh, this other one, this is a completely uh, separate uh, circuit. So this is just to power the motor. So uh, yeah, just don't get uh, confused with the two. And uh, so now considering that the output pins uh, on the Arduino are rated at 5 volts, uh, we can't use them to power the 12 volt DC motor as stated earlier. Uh, hence, uh, that's where we use a transistor to control the motor. And uh, we have three pins here for the transistor, and according to the TIP-122 data sheet, uh, so without going into too much detail, so this is a collector, uh, this is the base, and this is the emitter. Uh, now, uh, again, without uh, too much details, um, you can think of the functionality of the transistor acting uh, similarly uh, as to a switch. So basically where the base uh, where, when it's triggered by pin 7 on the Arduino, 
it's uh, almost similar as if uh, you turn on uh, a power switch to uh, turn on electrical circuit. So just think of it uh, similarly to that. And uh, finally, uh, as for the diode, uh, this component is also critical because we need it for uh, protecting the motor by uh, preventing uh, back EMF. So uh, let's go over uh, the schematic. So uh, just like uh, how we had uh, in the transmitter unit. So this is the XB shield uh, and uh, Arduino. And uh, for the transistor, now, uh, as I said earlier, you can think of it as a switch. Uh, so basically, uh, we have the base uh, terminal. When this is triggered by pin 7, uh think of this as uh so it's kind of like turning on a power switch so this will close and this will be like a serious circuit so this uh, in the end will the battery in the end will power the motor and the, uh, this is all controlled by the base signal over here by the arduino so when this is triggered and uh, the, so basically the current will go from the collector to the emitter and hence your motor will start running now uh, this battery we said uh, don't get confused with uh, both batteries uh, this one is uh, to power the arduino and the xb shield and uh, all this right here this is a common ground so we had our diode going back to ground uh, our batteries, both of them going back to ground. And uh, yeah, so just uh, make sure you get this correct. So here we have uh, the code for the transmitter unit. So if you've seen my uh, first video on uh, uh, the XP tutorial, uh, so it's pretty much the same, same code. Uh, so I'm not really going to go over this much. Uh, just watch, uh, like if you watch my first video, it's pretty much uh, going to be repetitive. Uh, so just as a reminder, uh, just make sure you include the software serial library, uh, the XB uh, library, so uh, you can find those uh, on the internet. So now here we have the uh, code for the receiver side. So uh, same thing, we include the software serial library, the XB.h uh, library. And uh, so for pins uh, 2 and 3 on the Arduino, we set them as uh, RX and TX uh, respectively. Uh, we initiate a variable called data. So basically data will be the state of the push button in the transmitter side. So when I press the push button, it will be in a high state. And once it's in a high state, it will send one. When the receiver receives one, it will trigger pin seven to be high, which uh, then uh, allows the transistor uh, to be triggered as well and that's where the motor starts if I press the uh, push button again it will send zero and that's where it will turn off so um, basically uh, this is the code uh, for the receiver and uh, the transmitter so I'll post links to them so where basically you can directly uh, download them.